So here is another example that helps us to understand how transistor can act as a switch. So you see this is an NPN transistor where collector, base and the emitter are shown. Emitter is grounded, collector is connected to the supply voltage through this light bulb and the base is as shown over here. So when you have a supply voltage of 6 volt and there is a switch so when this switch is open it means no current can flow through the resistor because switch is open so there is no current flowing in the input side of the transistor so the transistor is switched off because there is no current in the input side of the transistor there is no current in the output side of the transistor therefore we'll see that the transistor will act as an open circuit and the bulb will not light on on the other hand let's close this switch it means the circuit is now completed the current is called IBE that flows through the resistor and through the input side of the transistor and you can also apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law to the input side of the transistor which would be 6 volt minus IBE times this resistor value 1K minus the drop across the base emitter junction of the transistor. Remember this is base and this is emitter. So 6 volt minus IBE times 1K minus VBE equals to 0 that's your Kirchhoff voltage law and you can calculate the VBE across this input side that will come out to be about 0.6 volt to 0.7 volt so this is the forward voltage drop which will make the transistor current to flow through the input side of the transistor which is IBE because of the transist because of that there will be a current called collector current that will flow from collector to the emitter in the output side of the transistor and the, there is a conduction path from supply voltage to the ground and in between the light is connected therefore this bulb will glow. So when the switch is closed the bulb is on when the switch is open the bulb is off that's how transistor is working as a switch.